I love this question. Can you prove that the product of two slopes that are perpendicular is minus one? And in fact, why is that? What is this minus one? What does it represent? What happens if I multiply any two slopes? What do I get? Let me rephrase this. So take M to be the slope of a line or a line segment, uh, some non-zero slope. Then we can define some perpendicular slope. I'm going to call perpendicular M perp. And uh, we know a formula for that perpendicular slope is minus 1 over m. Whatever m is, the perpendicular one is minus 1 over m. If so, then m times minus 1 over m gives me minus 1. So why is that the perpendicular slope and why do I get minus 1? What is this minus 1? What happens if m are any two slopes? What do I get? By the end of this video, I will answer this question. If m and m prime are slopes, what is the value of m times m prime? Let me first give a geometric proof of the fact that the perpendicular slope is minus 1 over m. For that, I'm going to draw a line from 0, 0 to a point 1 comma m, m here is non-zero, then this line must have a slope equal to m, because this distance from here to here is m, this is a 1, so the slope or the tangent of alpha for this line is m. Now I can draw another point minus m comma 1 and notice that this line here has a slope uh, well minus 1 divided by m so the slope of this line is what we want to show is actually the perpendicular slope so it remains to show that this line and that line are perpendicular but notice that this triangle is also here so if this angle is beta, then this angle is beta. But this angle beta is 90 minus alpha, so this is 90 minus alpha, so this angle here has to be alpha also, so alpha and beta add up to 90, so the angle from here to here is 90 degrees. So these two lines are perpendicular, and therefore the slope of that line, which is the perpendicular slope to this one, is minus 1 over m. And so m times its perpendicular slope is m times minus 1 over m. The m's cancel out and I get minus 1. So why minus 1? And to explain that value, let me rephrase the problem in terms of values of the tangent. So alpha is a non-zero angle, then the slope m is the tangent of alpha. The perpendicular will be the tangent of alpha plus pi over 2, plus 90 degrees. So what is the product of the tangent of alpha times the tangent of alpha plus pi over 2? If we rephrase this in terms of sine and cosine, I get this is the sine of alpha, cosine of alpha, sine of alpha plus 90, cosine of alpha plus 90. And now we can use the fact that the cosine of alpha plus 90 is minus the sine of alpha. And the sine is the cosine of alpha. And now when you look at this, this cancels out, the sign cancels out, and I get a minus 1. More generally, if alpha and beta are arbitrary, what is the product of their tangents? So what is the product of the slopes? I, there must be some trigonometric identity that tells me what this is, and there is. So if you start from the cosine of beta minus alpha, that is the product of cosines plus the product of sines, and now I can divide through by the product of cosines, this will be the product of tangents and this brought to the other side of the equation gives me that the tangent of alpha times the tangent of beta is minus one plus some correction factor in terms of cosines. So here's the equation I was looking for. And now notice that when alpha and beta are perpendicular, that means that beta minus alpha differ by pi over two and therefore the cosine of pi over two is zero, this whole term vanishes and that's why you get that the product of the tangents is minus 1. 